Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun one for you. Today I am going to be just doing a live like type where um, it is my weekly touch in. So I'm basically doing this like a live is what I mean. And so I'm running straight through no cups. All right, so today I just wanted to say hello to everybody. If it is your first time here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I love hanging out with you guys. All right, so um, I was gonna say last week we talked about, no, my brain is not doing that this early. I do not know what we talked about last week and there it is. Let's just have that out. Um, I will also tell you something that um, isn't always my gift. So earlier, I'm drinking my little thing right now because I'm in the middle of filming um, being that girl. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos out here on YouTube, but basically it talks about being like that Instagram girl who always says everything perfect. Like you see them posting, oh, I'm doing my workout. I'm doing this I'm doing that I'm like totally you know juice getting my shake all and all that stuff anyway so I'm basically being that girl today where I like already picked like my outfit off of some Pinterest like trendy clothes and I did like my makeup all for that and I also tried some lipstick hacks you know like different makeup hacks and stuff like that so it has been a very interesting morning. Um, I'm up early all the time, so that's not like a big stretch, but you get it. Anyway, so I have already done my live for the week over on Instagram, Facebook, and so I just wanted to pop in and do it here and talk to you guys just because I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's very important. I'm going to break this down into two parts like I did over there, um, but this one is a little bit different. Um, I It's kind of like a hodgepodge of all of them. So um, there's something that's going on. I will tell you guys that later. And it's just, it needs to, you guys need to be aware of it. Because if you're a reader or anybody who, like, you need to be aware of it because it's not cool. And I want to make sure that you guys know so that you can protect yourself against something like that. Um, the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is basically um, for the writers, I want to tell you guys, um, some people like a few of the writer, like I do writer coaching. And so when different people ask me different questions and stuff like that, I like to be supportive and also supportive in the writer community and all of that. Um, so, um, I wanted to talk about that a little bit and then I will also help you choose my mouth. I will also help you choose your next read of mine. So if you want to know what to read next, um, th these two reads that I'm going to give you are options that are coming. Um, however, if you want to read anything else that is out already, um, have at it. <laughs> okay, so story short, let's go ahead and get into it. You guys, I am totally like freaking out because like recently my uh, phone like updated and I like to shoot my videos around there and stuff. And so <laughs> the orientation is different. And I'm just like, what is going on? All right. So it's okay. We can uh, feng shui this and live life. Okay. So <laughs> back on track here. Get back on, getting back on track. Um, so I want to talk to you about those few things and everything else. So like I said, let's just start with the writer one first and then I'll end with the thing the clickbait but it's not clickbait this one really is serious you know whatever uh that was bugging me there's like something over there this piece of my hair I guess I had my phone up and so I was like there and snagged it and it was just sitting there going hey it's still there hold on Ooh, no that's not mine Ooh, that's my puppies sorry about that Harley <laughs> all right so with all of that said okay um so writers okay some people have been getting my writers some stuff and i like i still like every writer i think goes through this at some point um there are three stages of being a writer there's like more but there are three stages i'm going to talk about today basically it's knowing your writing knowing your writer feeling your writer and actually being a writer so knowing that you're a writer um what that means is basically um if you go you know what um uh, by the way, this is good for anybody who's new or has been doing it forever because I don't care. Even if you've been doing it forever, you still might be like, um, do I really have I evolved through all the stages? You know what I mean? Um, to the being a writer. Secret here. Uh, spoiler alert. 
if you have written anything you are a writer when I mean anything I mean like you put pen to paper and you had an idea and you actually committed to writing it down you are an you are a writer all right now knowing okay so knowing you're a writer um let me explain that a little bit uh basically like if you breathe it you feel it in your bones you just absolutely know that you just have something to just write and it just comes from you it just emanates from you you just have to let that light out and let that light out onto a page and you just have to you like dream about it you think about it whatever then that is knowing you're a writer you just like know it. it took me a while to know I was a writer even though I was writing all the time I don't know how to explain that except for to say what I mean by that is I did a bunch of jobs before I knew I needed to write about it. A write about it that's what I wanted to do not actually do them okay so I guess that wasn't that long all right so anyways but I knew it like I just really connected with it. I understood it. I loved it. All right. So let's talk about the difference of feeling that you're a writer. Um, I, it, when you're a writer, you write different things and you've got to write the things that are just, that just light you up, make you happy. So I like, I like writing romance because I absolutely love it. And so I like to write about that. I like to get that information out and just, you know, just talk about it because there's, there's something about going through life with your special person. And so to have that in stories and to understand and feel that and everything else, I just think that's so important. So I write the books that I would like to read and I share them with somebody else. And, um, if you're like going, I don't know what, to, you know, I'm writing, but I don't know if someone's going to like this, write the book you want to read and don't worry about anything else. Write that book because your audience will find you. They will resonate with you. They will absolutely love it. So write it. Okay. So there's that. Um, so now let's go into filling it. Um, so I have been lucky enough to have a few different readers um, tell me, you know, things like um, they were having like a bad situation and reading my book helped them escape for a minute. Like something that totally warms my heart is when I hear somebody like, cause I ask different readers and they're going through different stages. Some of them have been sick before. Some of them are sick and it's, um, it's terminal. And when they say that, that uh, reading my book gives them, um, a moment of release from all of that, it is the best gift I could give anybody. And so that's what I mean filling it. <laughs> when you fill it and you understand the power and the the gift, the gift you've really been giving that you've been entrusted with this, this thing that you can give to other people. And it's just pretty cool. Um, I had another one of my readers, she's actually lives in an area that, you know, we kind of take it for granted sometimes that, you know, you can be safe and stuff, but she lives across the world. And she told me that, um, while different bombs and things were like dropping outside and it's like unsafe to go there she can go to my world that i've written and it gives her an opportunity just to just know she's like life's like that and it's pretty cool <laughs> another thing that i like about it is through my writing um i've had an opportunity to also like uh sponsor some um uh, to sponsor a few people and also to help um like I mentor a little girl and I'm able to through my writing it help her and that in turn helps the different people around in her area and stuff like that and so that's an amazing feeling as well so it's just when it starts to do this it's really cool I'm very excited to see the different things that it's going to continue to do but that's what I'm saying and um there is another um I have couples who read it and when they tell me that they, it's a fun way for them to connect. And then they're like, yeah, you know, we kind of really love this. We love these books because it helps them to romantically connect and stuff like that. That is such an amazing feeling as well. So the reader feedback is amazing. Or when you write it and then you start to cry looking at how either you shared a piece of yourself because that feeling is really amazing too. Like I always try to put a little something about my life in there so that someone else can connect and not feel so alone maybe if they're going through something similar to that or just period to know that that exists, you know? And so when you do that, that's connecting to and feeling it. And so you're that person that you're speaking to. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it but that's what I mean by filling it. All right. So that's when you know that you're feeling that you're a writer. And now being one, one more time with filling, it does not take you to have, have this contract with this person, um, or this, um, 
all these sales or tons of readers or um, a ton of money or even if you have the different things that do pour in and it's a ton of money and everything else what being a writer is is respecting your craft loving your craft and doing your craft so um, if you write one word you are a writer to the most experienced writer who writes all the time so with that said I wanted that to be known for the writers so I'm just cheering you on if you're doing it you're the same as any other writer you're a writer okay so we can just put that debate down <laughs> all right um okay so now I wanted to tell you guys about the other thing that I wanted to say um I wanted to say if you are a reader I am going to um, let you guys know. I'm going to end with something fun. So I'm going to end with the reader, actually. So I'm going to tell you the news that I wanted to tell you guys. The thing that is not clickbait that I cannot take that people are doing. Um, there is a huge problem with piracy. Um, I already I kind of told my uh, newsletter about this, but not newsletter. I'm sorry. My reader group um, about this. But I wanted to tell you guys, too, because I just think it's messed up. Not that it's like, I mean, yeah, it's messed up that they're stealing from um, authors and we do like a lot of work to, you know, whatever. And so we're not making all the sales. That's not, I mean, that's the part that's messed up and everything else. But the part that's extremely messed up is how these people are not only stealing from authors, they're um, starting to send malware and malicious stuff and hacking and stuff like that to readers who are just sitting there trusting and thinking that they're getting something that, you know, is a representation of the author. And um, I think it's messed up. They're, they're, they still are work, but then they send things and it's malicious and it's hurting people's like, you know, it's hurting people. And I don't like that. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys. So please, please protect yourself from that kind of crap and make sure you just go through trusted, um, trusted places. Um, and when I say trusted places, I mean like Barnes and Noble, um, uh, Amazon, and um, just legit sources that you know you're like oh okay I can I know this place like those and then you're you should be fine so that's how you protect it the good thing about it is you can protect yourself from it but just please be careful okay <laughs> um I did tell my newsletter or something and not news okay I keep saying that anyways but um I'm gonna be having my books in print soon again so check that out soon um I used to have them in print. I kind of took a pause from that because a few of the things like they changed some of the people that they worked with as far as on Amazon and stuff. And so uh, that just kind of paused that up. So definitely if you see anything that's in print right now, um, do not buy that if, if because that's not mine. I mean, I do have one if it's through Amazon. That's me. But everything else right now. No, that's not it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and finally, um, telling you guys how to pick your next book. Let me do a this or that. Close your eyes. We're going to do this. Um, all right. So what are you more likely to do? Are you more likely to go grocery shopping or are you more likely to, um, uh, shop online? <laughs> okay. Do you have it? All right. Um, now the next thing, are you more likely to, are you more tech savvy? Or are you um, someone who can cook? And then finally, are you um, someone who prefers to be in suits, stylish clothing, whatever? Or are you somebody who prefers to be in more loungewear, um, relaxed vibe clothes? They can still be cute though. Just <laughs> relaxed and like, yeah. All right. So depending upon what you said in those three answers, that's going to tell you which book you should read of mine. So if you are more the first answers, so if you're like grocery store, um, you like, uh, hold on, let me see. You're gro okay. If you're more grocery store, um, you're more tech savvy and you like to dress up, then you might want to look at too much trouble. That one is my lawyer one. That one's going to be coming out very soon. So keep an eye out for it. Write it down right now. Put it in your book because it's going to be coming. Um, but if you are more, you shop online, you're great at cooking, and you like to be in loungewear, that one's going to be convinced me. And that one's coming pretty, pretty soon. Um, and that one is about a living chef and a lawyer. Uh, what's up with the lawyers? Anyways, but it's about a living chef. And um, it's mainly about her. And um, 
yeah so that one is very very fun they're both really really good but you might vibe with those and then you can switch it and eventually please read the other one too but i just thought it'd be a fun way to kind of uh decide what you wanted to read you can open your eyes now <laughs> all right guys so that is my video for today i hope you enjoyed it um i will be back with more and um take care of yourselves and i will see you very very soon